So we got a trailer that has a bent hitch and uh, I just looked at this thing and it's super, super thin. It's about a 16th. And what happened is it buckled here because of uh, the load distribution bracket. I think there's a bolt that clamps down. It pinched it and then when you hit a bump, this collapsed and turned into this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut these off and uh, strengthen it and then put it back together. So, and then modify some of this stuff to it too as well. So it's gonna, it's gonna be a whole nother animal when it's done, it's gonna be a lot stronger. All right, so I just took a section out. This is the section right here. And you can see, this is, uh, I wanna say this is about a 16th of an inch, but it might be a metric size. Um, it's close to an eighth, but I feel like it's really thin. Um, this should not be a frame. I don't know why they make frames this thin, especially for a trailer. So you can use the, the supports like that material, but you know, not a frame. You don't do a frame like that. You cheapen out here. So now I gotta go cut that off. I just used the bandsaw to cut it and it gave me a decent cut right here. So I'm gonna go to the other side and then uh, I'll support this one. I'll probably put some, uh, I'll put my other piece of metal in here and then I'll just clamp it on to keep it kind of in line. I mean, worst case, I took a measurement from the ball to the tip and I'm gonna use that as my reference point, but it's a straight line, so it can't go far from there. Yeah, that's thin. <laughs> So I cut the frame completely off. Here's the tongue. Still got a bend. I'll just knock that out. I didn't want to cut too much of the material off, but that's going in, so it's not going to matter. I'm not even pointing the camera at the right thing. So that's going in. That's going in. There was a little high spot on that side. I'll just knock that down with a hammer. And then, so here is the angle. I actually cut a square tube and I made this. But uh, this is two by three, right? So that's actually uh, the brand. This is the brand of the trailer. So if you get this trailer from, what size trailer is this thing? What size trailer is this? Eagle Cargo. What, what's the size? Uh, five by five by ten. It's a five by ten trailer by Eagle Cargo. Eagle Cargo. Eagle Cargo makes this trailer. So, the the thing that I want to tell you guys, if you buy in, a I mean, it's not that big of a trailer. Here is the full trailer. There's probably a thousand pounds evenly distributed through the weight, you know. But um, the customer wanted to put a load dispersing tongue on here to get the weight off the truck. It's like a sway control and the load distribution. And that's what made the frame buckle. And it's literally, I think you bought this, what, like a week ago? Yep. This is a week old trailer. It failed down a road, coming down from that road, <laughs> about half, maybe a mile at most from his house after he loaded it. Didn't get too far down the street. This is where it's stranded. We got the generator to my welder and then I got my power tools. So we're in the middle of the woods. <laughs> this is not a residential area. I mean, technically it is, but this could be anywhere in the world. 
he was planning on doing a couple thousand miles during that year. <laughs> He's going from east coast to west coast pretty much. Yeah. And uh, this happened here five minutes from the house. So beware of that. What are you working through here? So I got uh, the piece. I just had a random length of tube that I cut, uh, which is angle technically. So I'm, I'm putting that piece and it fully makes it go even further back. And then the piece that I measured was 24 inches. It's fitting perfectly here. I just have to notch out a little corner there so I can put my weld there, weld here, 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 and then box it in. And then I can weld even further down on that tongue to give it even more support. In fact, I might have to notch out for this plate down here so this can go up higher because it's all the way to the back right now. So I'm going to have to cup, cut a couple little pieces out and it won't be too much work. So it's all good. Sweet. So here is the two pieces of angle sandwiched in. I'm just mocking it up right now, but what I'll probably do is tack weld this one before I do this one and then pull this off so I can weld the pieces that I cut inside of there. You know, that tube is, I'm gonna weld inside of there to this bottom one on both sides. And then when I put this one on, it'll finish it off and then I'll do a seam weld, seam weld, and then weld it to the frame. So there's no way that thing's coming out. And then uh, do the same thing to this side. So I'll get them both clamped up, ready to go. There's a big gap there, but I feel like that's not a big deal. I can weld that in. It'll take a little bit longer than I want, but I could even do stitch welds. I think it'd be fine. Or solid weld, whatever. But uh, it's right up to the edge, and it's not going any further because of that. So I'll weld right in there. Right inside of there. Up here. Everywhere I can get. And I'll definitely strengthen this. So I welded in, I don't know why I painted it and then it recorded, but they're not ugly welds, I just can't really tell. They're decent, where they go, they're decent. I'm not proud of that one, but uh, tell Jeff, whoever uh, Jeff is that built this frame here, that his boss needs to step up the thickness of the steel here. Uh, this is quarter inch. We're going a little way overkill, but that's just what I had and might as well take advantage of it, right? All right, so we finished up and then I'm actually happy with these. Uh, you can't really see that weld, but let's see. Let me uh, brighten it up here. No, I don't know for whatever reason, it's too dark. But, um, actually, you know what? I got a light. There you go. Bam. Those ones came out pretty good. It's secured there. It's secured underneath. It's welded to the frame there. It goes all the way back. All the way to the front. And then that little section is the piece missing, but that's the gap. And then the same thing on this side. Got that all welded up. This thing is standing on its own. See? No jack stands anymore. Just... Two wheels and a tongue, and we're good. 